what does he do? He gets comfortable and he starts taking deals. He starts making deals. So now he's fucked. What can you do now? Because Esau has you in his back pocket. You understand what I'm saying? Never compromise this truth. It's one thing. Uh, if, if It's one thing you're working. You want a bonus. I understand that you may do a particular thing. I'm talking about the truth. You compromise this truth. You're, you're, you're done. You're, you're finished. You're finished. So you, you can go to the field. You can go to a demonic field and do your left-handed sacrifices. In no, in no way is that going to save you at all. That's not going to save you. You're just, you're just, um, you're just condemning yourself. There's, there's, there's certain men that are under the orders of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, and there's certain men that are under the orders of Satan, Esau. Bear me just a minute. And it says, verse 12, Come ye say, they, I will fetch wine, and we will fill ourselves with strong drink. So these are people that are what? Given to excess. Okay. And tomorrow shall be as this day, as much more abundant. So this is a mindset. This is actually a mindset of, um, lackadaisical, you don't really care. You know, and it doesn't really matter, you know. Forget about that. Don't think about that too much. Bro, you're not a true... It's really being shown who's really about the truth. And... There was an interesting lesson done, very interesting lesson by um, what's his name? One of the one of the elders from Dallas. What's his name? What's his name? Yasha. I don't know if I can say Yasha Wamba. I don't know if I'm saying the, the name right. On Micah three, certain men that have um, they've they've lost it. They've completely lost their integrity. Okay, they have a nonchalant attitude when it comes to the truth. They they they've lost it. Now they they've compromised. They've compromised, man. So now they're doing what? They're on the left hand side, they're making sacrifices to Satan. Okay, that's why you've got to be circumspect in these times we are in. It's a very interesting video, watch the video. Okay. And they're going to be judged for that. Okay, because now they, they, can no, they can no longer judge. Why? Because Esau has them in their pocket. Go to John. That's why the scripture says, Try the spirits. Let's go to John 4. Beloved, believe not every spirit. That's called being gullible. If you're believing every spirit, yeah, I'm, you're an Israelite. There's, there's loads of guys that say, Kram Yasharala, Shalawam Israel. Okay. There's loads of guys that say that. Okay. <laughs> Beloved, be, believe not every spirit. You can't believe every single spirit. You can't do that. You just believe in every spirit that says he's an... You can't do that. So if the scripture says, Beloved, believe not every spirit. So men talk about brotherhood. So even within the brotherhood, you can't believe every spirit. You can't do that. You can't believe every single spirit. Okay. Men talk about brotherhood like it's some Greek fraternity. This ain't no Greek fraternity. The true, brotherly, the true brotherhood are those that are about Yahabashai, about his business, and that are fervent for the truth. That's the true brotherhood. Point blank, period. If you're not about Yahabashai, you're not really of the brotherhood. You may be of a satanic brotherhood, but you're not of the righteous brotherhood. Okay? All Israel. We're not here to gather all Israel. Because all Israel are not of Israel. But try the spirits. So it says, try the spirits. So what? You're trying the brotherhood. Okay, I don't even like using that name, brotherhood. Come up with that name. Okay, but try the spirits, whether they are the most high. So every man has a spirit within them. So you're trying their spirit, and how do you try their spirit? By what they're teaching, and how they're teaching. Because a man could be teaching the words, but he could be teaching it in a way where his handlers. He's teaching a particular in a particular manner because his handlers have told him to teach in that manner. Okay. You got those that are actually furthering. You got those in the truth that are actually furthering and pushing the agenda of the elites. You have those that are pushing the agenda of the elites. 
that's why it says try the spirits if you call yourself an Israelite but you're pushing the agenda of the banking elite families then what does that make you? a false prophet whether they are of the most high because many false prophets have gone out into the world so there's many false prophets many many have gone out into the world so if hold on a minute if they've gone out into the world this is why guys are not being spiritual you could have a man within your camp in great millstone it says gone out into the world so is this talking about IUIC, uh, GOCC? No, also in Great Millstone. Because it says gone out into the world. What? To deceive. To carry out Esau's agenda. Hereby know the spirit of the Most High. Every spirit that confesses you, Ahab, Shai, Mashiach, is coming to flesh. It's the, it's the Most High. Okay. And there's many, what? Anti Mashiachs. There's many. There's not one. There's many. So again, if you're pushing Esau's agenda, that makes you an anti mashiach You're actually warring against Yahabashai. Yeah, when the time when the time presents itself, the Lord Yahabashai is going to destroy your ass when the time presents itself. Okay, you can you can gather you can gather all the intel you want. You know, you can you can do that all you want. Who cares? gather all the intel you want but just know your highway at the end of this when it's all said and done your is going to destroy you because you sold out now you cannot speak the word freely because you've got a battery pack in your back okay it's really being revealed who's about the truth and who ain't bear me just a minute we don't take bribes we don't take payoffs Bear me just a minute. Now we don't do that at Great Millstone. Well, the true men of the Lord don't do that. I can't speak for everybody because you have men that have done that. Okay. Treating this truth like it's some Greek fraternity. What? What's that about? What's that about? Man. That's why, again, that's why you got a fair. That's why you got a fair. You have a shy, man. That's why you got a fair. You have a shy. We shut off soon. Bear me just a minute. Where's that scripture? Where's that scripture? Where's that scripture? Bear me just a minute. We're, we're, we're not going to change the doctrine, man, at all. We're not going to, a true man, he ain't going to change the doctrine. Because Esau, he feels threatened. You understand what I'm saying? You know? A lot of men are paid off, but again, again, we don't, we don't bug out. We understand these things need to happen. To show you who's a man of the Lord and who ain't. Who's a false prophet and who ain't. Mark 8. And 34. And another thing, if, if example, if the police, I want to put out an example, if the police tell you to move on, okay, okay, you move on, okay, you move on, but that doesn't mean you run, you go and hide into some forest, you just go to another spot on the highways and, and that's all you do. A lot of men are, a lot of men are under them orders, man, under Esau, but you're, you're through, you're done, okay. That's why it says fearfulness has, to su has surprised the sinners and hypocrites of what Zion. Okay. Because you're not doing the right thing. Let's go to Mark 8 and 34. And when he had called the people unto him with his disciples also, he said unto them, Whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself. When we come to the truth, 
we deny ourselves our ambitions okay so if you ain't done that you're still going to be seeking out after the world okay let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me your cross is your own trials and whosoever will save his life shall lose it so if you try to save your life here guess what's going to happen you're going to end up losing it one way or another and saving it part of how people save their life in this world what do they end up doing selling out when you save your life here you won't end up losing it one way or another so men think oh you know if, if you sell out no harm's going to happen to me we're protected no you're not you're in the worst you're in the worst position you're in the worst position if you sold out well you what you think you're just going to run off into the sunset with Esau that's not going to happen that's not going to happen man and whoever will save his life shall lose it but whosoever shall lose his life so the men that are truly in Yahweh Shai, they've already lost their lives okay for my sake and the gospel same same shall save it and i've been thinking about something you know when the scriptures talk about those that are beheaded those that die okay and those that are martyrs me you could say it's me speaking as a man or whatever i strongly believe well i believe this through the spirit a load of those that are going to suffer that harsh punishment of death a load of those are going to be the ones that were doing the work deceitfully and the, the ones that sold out they're the ones that have to be worried they're the ones because obviously you've done to the true prophets what you've done to them 2000 years ago and obviously you're going to be doing the same thing today but those that have been doing the work deceitfully they're going to suffer a lot of these punishments okay but see because they're in a fearful manner they're trying to put that spirit upon you yeah you see how it works and the same shall save it for what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and the people of this world are about profit gain and lose his own soul okay or what shall a man give in exchange for his own soul so this 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 carnal world is about profit and that's why you don't want to be entangled with this world when you're entangled with this world what are you think about profit gain how you can um, further yourself in this society we don't seek that if he shall gain the whole world so you may have gained the whole world but lose his own soul but you've lost your own soul so now you're done or what should a man give in exchange for his own soul so again there's exchanges on the left hand side and there's exchanges on the right hand side and the true men of the Lord they're not going to be making exchanges on the left hand side they're going to be making them right hand exchanges which is what is truth and whoever shall be ashamed of me on my words so if you sell out that means because you were ashamed of the gospel okay in this adulterous and sinful generation of him also shall the son of man be ashamed when he cometh in the glory of his father with the holy angels so those that are in this this way again the low seat those that are got high positions in this corporate world do you really think they want your shall to come back no because they've they've established themselves they got businesses and all that and that's why the scriptures tell you matthew 6 and 19 that's what the scriptures talk about pilgrims upon earth that's why the scriptures you have a told us not to be fully attached to anything that's around us because you would have this in the last days that men they wouldn't want to let go of this roman empire but the true prophets of the lord they were here to what to condemn this place you can't condemn this place but you're for this place or you've been compromised by esau that makes you a hireling a false prophet okay so brothers it's for you to be aware okay and if it if it's for you to be out here and teach by yourself do that because your house will still be with you okay if you're with a camp that's nice but you got to make sure the leaders are not compromised whatsoever because if you follow him that judgment will fall upon you because what jonathan okay he was good friends with david but he died why because of son so again okay you got to be spiritual look at the story number 16 quora ibimaram and um what's it what's it nathan quora and ibimaram look at look at those that ha that were with them they got swallowed up why because they were following a multitude in what evil it says for you you got to make that we're coming to that point where you got to make that decision if if if, if but be on means you have to teach by yourself then you may have to teach by yourself okay because this is serious times and you don't want to get caught up in other men's judgment okay so with this lesson i hope this was edifying and until the next time shalom to the hopeful elect across the globe shalom